Hey y'all, cooking, cutting up, keeping it real. Hope everybody's doing well today. In my kitchen today, I wanted to do a dessert for our tailgate for tomorrow for the NC State weight game um, that had a little bit of, um, uh, you know, Thanksgiving kind of flair. So I picked Paula Dean's ooey gooey butter cake. I don't know if you've ever made it, but if you haven't, it is a great dessert. You can kind of do lots of different varieties of it. Today I'm going to do the pumpkin uh, variety of it. So I just wanted to show you that and I'm going to try to tilt this down and show you what I'm doing. But it starts with a box of yellow cake mix. Um, let's see. Anyway, okay there we go. So it's very easy. It's a kind of a two-parter. You start with your cake mix. You add one stick of melted butter. I'm going to save that because there's another stick of butter. This is not low calorie, just for you people that, you know, want to know about that. And you also add one egg. And this makes sort of the crust, if you will, for the bottom. Can you just stir that in? Yes, uh, my oldest son is at State and a huge State fan. And if my husband's a State alumni and every other clap around here, all state people, and we were raised, my kids have been raised in a state household, so this game should be pretty interesting uh, in that uh, the baby boy is playing for Wake. So anyway, um, we're gonna have a big tailgate tomorrow. I'm excited, my oldest is coming home and some of his friends will be there and his sweet girlfriend and her family, and of course our regulars, so we're gonna have a big time. But anyway, um, this is what this looks like. It's kind of it's kind of gooey, doughy, thus the name, gooey butter cake. You just dump that in to a uh, 13 by 9 inch um, casserole dish that you've already sprayed. I'm gonna put that to the side because I'm gonna use that again. I'm actually gonna make two of these. My hands are clean. And you're just gonna push that down in the bottom of the pan. And then you're gonna mix eight ounces of cream cheese that's at room temperature, which I set out this morning. And you're gonna mix that with one can of pumpkin puree. I like to kind of push mine up on the side just a tad bit to give it kind of a trough. When you cut it, it's a little easier to handle. And of course, at a tailgate, you like those things you can handle with your hands. Let me give my hands a quick wash. But anyway, um, I've already put my eight ounces of cream cheese in. I'm trying to do this where you can see, too, because people will say they can't see. Okay. Anyway, I like a stand-up mixer. I don't know how anybody functions without a stand-up mixer. To me, they're just the best. Uh, let me grab a spoon or a spatula. Here we go, to get all this out. And I'm gonna mix that together. And then meanwhile, I'm gonna crack two more eggs while that blends. Put my cheat sheet back up here where I can see it. I'm also gonna pop this other stick of butter in the microwave. And you know, I decided I'm gonna add pecans and semi-sweet chocolate chips to mine on top, just to give it a little different spin. I like pumpkin and semi-sweet chocolate together. I like chocolate anyway for a fix, but I do think it makes a good combination. Okay, now, sorry about that. Okay, so while that's blended, I'm gonna crack two more eggs in my Um, measuring cup, just so I make sure there's no shells in it. Throw that away. Um, before I started, I put 16 ounces of um, powdered sugar and my seasonings in here, which was um, half of a teaspoon of cinnamon, half teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice, and a fourth teaspoon of nutmeg. I'm going to add in one teaspoon of vanilla. And I'll post the recipe. I actually looked it up on Pinterest. I have a Paladin cookbook that it's in, but I was in the grocery store trying to get all my ingredients together, so I just took the easy route and pulled it up on Pinterest. Anyway, I'm going to get that stirred in. I'm going to add my eggs. 
Let that blend. My oven is at 350 degrees. I'm going to scrape the sides of this to get all this pumpkin down together. I mean, what's better than cream cheese and butter? Come on. And sugar. And pumpkin. I don't know. I'm going to lay this right here. I'm going to kind of run that around. Anyway. I'm going to add in my powdered sugar a little bit at a time so it doesn't go everywhere. And then I'm going to put this on top of the crust. I'm going to sprinkle it with um, semi-sweet chocolate chips and some pecans that I have um, pounded with my rolling pan to break up into pieces. And then I'm going to pop it into the oven after I mix up the second one. I'm doing two because we do treats for our patients the day before Thanksgiving and this is going to be what I take for that. Yes, we do that at the dentist office. Our patients really like it. Anyway. I've done this recipe before and put chocolate chips, peanut butter chips, pecans. You can really do a lot of things with it. Now, let me put this to the side. And I'm going to pour that over the top. It's basically the same recipe as lemon squares, too, if you're familiar. Look, I'd love to chat with everybody that comes on here, but I can't see. kind of comes with age. Okay. Let me pull this over here where you can see it. Let me push that out of the way. Bring this closer. I try to do these segments fairly quick. Um... So people don't get bored watching them. But I'm going to put just, um, I don't know, about a fourth a cup or half a cup, whatever you like, of uh, pecans. And then I'm going to put about a fourth a cup to half a cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips. I don't want to put too many because I don't want my my friends and family to taste the pumpkin since it is fall. That's what it looks like. It's going into a 350 degree oven. I'll show you a picture of what it looks like when it comes out. I might even can get my oldest son to do a taste test when he comes home. We'll see. If he will, I'll record it for you. But anyway, that's how I'm doing my pumpkin ooey gooey butter cakes for the NC State weight gain for tomorrow. And it'd be a great uh, recipe to have for the holidays coming up. So, anyway, cooking, cutting up, keeping it real. Pumpkin, ooey gooey butter cake. Go Deeks.